Okay, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the VLOOKUP function, and I'm going to do it using this simple model. And uh, what we'd like to have happen is, uh, based on our order quantity, we'd like to have a unit cost show up here in cell B15. And uh, using this predefined table and the VLOOKUP function, I can have that happen. So I'm going to go ahead and start by typing VLOOKUP. Alright, and the function takes three arguments. First is the value you want to look up. Second argument is the table where that value should be found. Alright, and uh, the third argument is uh, what to do, what column to return once I find that value in the table. Alright, and so it's the column number. All right, and actually the, the VLOOKUP takes uh, three or four arguments, and the way I'm using it here, it's called an approximate match, so it's going to look for approximately 3,000. So if it finds anything uh, between 3,000 up to 3,099, it would return a, a a discount or a cost of 21.75 per unit. All right, and that's how the approximate match works. If I were to put the fourth argument in here, false, okay, it would look for an exact match, and if it didn't find exactly what you had in cell B9, it wouldn't return an answer at all. It would return an error message. All right, so let me just show you how it works as an approximate match. Okay, so we can now see that, okay, it found 3,000 in the table and it returned the value that was in column two of the table. Okay, and I'll just change this around a couple times so you can see what I mean by an approximate match. All right, so obviously I wouldn't order zero, but I guess theoretically I could order one unit. Okay, and so by ordering one unit, I would get a price of 24. And if I order anything from one up to 9.99, all right, I'm going to have a price of 24. As soon as I go to 1,000, uh, you see the price comes down to the price corresponding with the uh, with the row um, where 1,000 is. Okay, and uh, the only other thing to kind of keep in mind about VLOOKUP is that when you're using an approximate match, the way I am here, the table has to be arranged in ascending order. Okay, and it doesn't necessarily need to be numbers. It could also B letters. And uh, that is a V lookup.